This is Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 14. And in les Lesson 14, we're going to skip count, and we're going to continue working on our multiplication facts, specifically our fours. So Lisa places five rows of four juice boxes in the refrigerator. First thing we're going to do is draw an array. So five rows of four juice boxes. So that means one, two, three, four. There's one row. One, two, three, four. 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 So there's our five rows of four juice boxes. So our multiplication fact is going to be five times four. So five rows of four. And that means our missing value there, our product, is 20. And so there are 20 juice boxes in total. Now, don't forget, uh, we can always review. You know, students may have forgotten about the distributive property. So go ahead and, and remind students of the distributive property that, yes, this is 5 times 4. And if you don't remember 5 times 4 off the top of your head, you can break it up into two smaller arrays and you can change this to 3 times 4 plus 2 times 4 in which case students would see that this is 12 plus 8 which is 20. So don't forget the distributive property from previous lessons. And in our last problem here we've got six folders are placed on each table. How many folders are on four tables? So uh, draw now this one says we want to draw a tape diagram. Okay, so we're going to draw our four tables. And in this case, six folders are placed on each table. So that means we're going to have six, 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 and six. So if we were to label this, we'd say four tables. And then up here we'd say uh, six folders per table is one way to do it. And all together we can see that we have 24, um, 24 folders. If we wanted to write our multiplication fact, it would be, oh, I, you know, it probably wouldn't be 6 times 4. We would probably do 4 groups of 6. So we would probably Right, four groups of six is equal to twenty-four. But realize if a if the student wants to say six times four and say um, you know there are six books on four tables, that's okay too, as long as they understand that six stands for the books, four stands for the tables. And of course the answer is twenty-four. And that is our lesson 14 where we are learning our multiplication facts of our fours.